In this video, I'm going over the best cell phone plans for couples on the Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile networks. We're going to be taking a look at the premium unlimited plans available from the major carriers, as well as some super affordable uh, prepaid plans available from smaller MVNOs. These are all going to be great options for couples, uh, so let's just dive right into it. First, if you are looking to get a plan from a major carrier like Verizon, you'll notice you're only really saving about five to ten dollars per line. That's Verizon, AT&T. You can see you save again about five to ten dollars depending on the plan, and the same thing with T-Mobile. Actually, T-Mobile has a pretty steep discount. That's uh, ten dollars off for their Magenta plan, but if you go up to their Essentials plan, the price drops pretty significantly from. $60 a line to $45 a line. So it could be good options to consider. Uh, and again, the same thing with Sprint. You're really only saving about five to $10 per month. Uh, it can be helpful, but really you may be better off getting a plan for an individual. So I'll cover the best options in this video. First, taking a look at the most premium plans here, we have Verizon's Do More Unlimited Plan, Sprint Unlimited Plus, AT&T Unlimited Extra, and T-Mobile Magenta. These are what I consider to be the better plans available from the major carriers right now. They offer a pretty good balance of premium features, high-speed priority data, hotspot data, um, and come at more reasonable price points uh, than the truly top-of-the-line plans, which are just astronomically expensive. Still, these plans themselves are pretty expensive on a per-person basis. They're great if you do need that premium unlimited data, but let's dive into some more affordable options. On the Verizon network, Verizon Prepaid actually has some great plans for couples. $38 a month gets you unlimited data for each person, although the speeds are deprioritized and there is no support for hotspot data, and $30 a person gets you 16 gigs of data. This is the plan I think is actually the better deal. And a huge pro tip if you are signing up for Verizon Prepaid, you wanna put the lower data amount first as line one to get the best deal possible. For example, if we do an unlimited plan for one person and a six gig plan for the second person, you can see our total is $90 per month. But if we take these same plans and just reverse them, where unlimited is on line two and the six gig plan is on line one, the price drops to just $80 per month. You're saving an extra $10 or $120 per year just by doing this one simple thing. So if you are a couple that uses different data amounts, make your line one the lower data amount and make your line two the higher data amount for maximum savings. Another great option on the Verizon network is Total Wireless. For $29 a person, you get 30 gigs of shared data. And if you are looking for more affordable light user plans for couples, check out Red Pocket and US Mobile. Red Pocket's plan is $15 a month for one gig of data. US Mobile allows you to customize your plan to meet your needs, and two of the plans I like are their $20 one and a half gig plan and their $30 five gig plan. My parents actually use US Mobile as their personal providers, and what they like about it is the flexibility. They can each build their own plan to meet their specific needs, and if they decide they need more minutes, text, or data one month, they can easily add more with top-ups. Now, another option that looks pretty good is US Mobile's $40 unlimited plan. And what's tempting about it is this plan would include Slacker Plus, Live X Live, Pandora Plus, or Apple TV Plus with two lines. However, I wouldn't recommend this plan. Really, the best value plan on the Verizon network is Visible. Their plan is $35 a month for two people. You're getting unlimited data and unlimited hotspot data but the hotspot data is capped at five megabits per second. What makes Visible even better is you can add two more people to your party to reduce your bill to just $25 per month. This is totally safe. Each person's bill is handled separately uh, and you basically just get group savings without actually having to form a group account. The one thing you wanna make sure with Visible is that your phone is compatible. They do have limited device support at this time. Now moving on to the AT&T network. Now, most people go to Cricket when they think of affordable, unlimited plans on the AT&T network. Cricket has a plan, $40 a month here for unlimited data, but your speeds are capped at three megabits per second. In my opinion, this is not worth it at all. I find three megabits per second to be pretty slow. I would recommend going with AT&T prepaid, 
This unlimited plan is also $40 a month and it removes the three megabit per second cap. So you get full speed LTE data. If you are looking for hotspot data, Cricket has an awesome plan for $45 per person. This includes full speed LTE data. So no more three megabit per second cap and 15 gigs of hotspot data. Lastly, I also love Cricket's $35 per person, five gig plan. This is capped at eight megabits per second, but I actually found this was fast enough for me. Now, if you're looking for even more affordable options, you're gonna wanna check out Pure Talk USA. Their plans start at $18 a month for one gig, $23, excuse me, per person, these are per person, $23 per person for three gigs, $27 for five gigs, and $32 for eight gigs, which actually undercuts Cricket's $35 plan with only five gigs of data. The caveat here is, as you can see, some features are not supported. I'd recommend reaching out to Pure Talk USA support and confirming which features will be supported on your phone. When I spoke with support, they told me MMS, visual voicemail, FaceTime over cellular, and the personal hotspot will be coming in April 2020 for the new iPhones. This would include the iPhone 10R, 10S, and newer. So when April rolls around, I think these affordable plans are going to be even better. Oh, and also Red Pocket has a pretty good plan here too, $30 for seven gigs of data. Moving on to the Sprint network now, and if you're looking for unlimited data, I think Boost is probably the best alternative carrier to check out. Their plan is $40 for unlimited data and includes 12 gigs of hotspot data. Hello Mobile also has an interesting plan here. They advertise it as unlimited, but it is actually only a 15 gig plan, uh, but still $20 per person for 15 gigs is a pretty good deal. And now on the Sprint Network, I have some super exciting news to share with you guys. Tello, one of the most affordable carriers on the Sprint Network, and what I think has some of the best plans, they just introduced family plan pricing. So on the Tello website here, boom, you can now have one account for all members of your family. This is awesome because it makes billing and account management much easier. You no longer need separate accounts for every line you have on Tello. Unfortunately, there are no family discounts, uh, but still, I think that's totally fine because Tello's prices are awesome. You're looking at $11 for two gigs, $16 for four gigs, $22 for six gigs, and $39 for 25 gigs as just a few options to consider. These are prices for individual lines. Uh, so if you have two people, then it would be per person. And finally, on the T-Mobile network, instead of getting T-Mobile Magenta, which is nice because it does include that Netflix subscription with two lines, uh, you could consider getting Metro by T-Mobile. $40 per person gets you unlimited data here with 35 gigs of priority data and five gigs of hotspot data. And I will say, if you are tempted by that Netflix subscription, Metro's plan is so much cheaper per person that you would actually save money getting Metro and then signing up for Netflix separately. So do keep that in mind. And if you are looking for cheaper plans here, I would recommend checking out Ultra Mobile and Mint Mobile. Ultra Mobile is great if you don't wanna to commit to a longer term plan. They have a $29 monthly plan that includes five gigs of LTE data. And Mint Mobile is awesome here. They are simply untouchable with their bulk pricing model. You can get 12 gigs of data for $25 per month, eight gigs of data for $20 a month, and three gigs of data for just $15 per month. Something to note about Ultra Mobile and Mint Mobile is each person will need their own separate account, which is a little bit of an inconvenience, uh, but the pricing is great. So definitely take that for what it's worth. And lastly, honorable mentions, uh, if you have Spectrum Mobile, they do have a data plan, $45 a month for unlimited or $14 per gigabyte. I haven't seen very many positive reviews of Spectrum Mobile, but you can consider this as an option if you are a Spectrum customer. The same thing goes for Xfinity Mobile. They have $45 for an unlimited plan, and they also have a buy the gig option uh, where it is, let me find it. Boom, one gig for $12 a month, three gigs for $30 a month, or 10 gigs for $60 a month. Again, if you are a Xfinity Mobile customer, you can absolutely consider this. And finally, I think it's worth giving Google Fi a shout out here. Uh, I don't think their unlimited plan is worth it because it is actually a 22 gig plan and $60 each is kind of expensive in my opinion, but their flexible for two plan 
actually seems like a reasonable option. You pay $18 a month for unlimited talking text for each person, and then $10 per gigabyte of shared data. So it'd be basically $35 a month, and then depending on how many gigs of data you both use, uh, that would be $10 per gig. This can be more expensive if you do use a lot of data, but Google Fi is excellent because they offer the same data rates and text rates while traveling internationally. They're one of the best international plans, and in the United States, they use combined coverage from the T-Mobile, Sprint, and US Cellular Networks, uh, which gives you pretty good performance pretty much everywhere. Although I guess now with the Sprint T-Mobile merger going through, more people will get the combined coverage of Sprint and T-Mobile as they become one network. Uh, so that's a little bit less of a benefit uh, going forward, but still an affordable plan to consider. So those are my top picks for the best plans for two people. Of course, you can check out many more plans on my website, bestphoneplans.net. You can easily compare plans, prices, and features across a whole variety of carriers Link in the video description if you want to check this out. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this one. I've got a full family plans video coming up, so stick around for that.